Play it. Bye. Yeah, man, why don't, you, why don't you kick some of that, you know? You, you know how you do it, man. It's a trip. People don't even believe we're together right now. But, but, but tell your story. You know the one I like. Right? Say it, bro. Riders on the storm. It is now time to explain to people just what's wrong with me. I mean, that's pretty much about it. Voices AI come spend money. This road we all know, but... Just as it starts to bend, we do not know where it goes from. There, nobody has ever made it. That fair to tell us about the road that lies ahead. By Jimmy James. Main points. 1. The road is familiar, but it takes an unknown path as it begins to bend. 2. No one has ever reached the end of the road to give information about what lies ahead. Abstract. The poem of This Road We All Know, but by Jimmy James, describes a familiar road that takes an unknown path, leaving people uncertain about what lies ahead. Write an essay at this road we all know, but just as it starts to bend, we do not know where it goes from. There, nobody has ever made it that fair to tell us about the road that lies ahead. By Jimmy James. Main points. 1. The road is familiar, but it takes an unknown path as it begins to bend. 2. No one has ever reached the end of the road to give information about what lies ahead. Abstract. The poem of This Road We All Know, but by Jimmy James, describes a familiar road that takes an unknown path, leaving people uncertain about what lies ahead about. The road mentioned in the poem is a metaphor for the journey of life. We all start our journey on a familiar path, but as we progress, we encounter unexpected twists and turns. Just as the road starts to bend, we are faced with uncertainty about where it will lead us. It represents the unknown future that we all must navigate through. The idea that nobody has ever made it that far to tell us about the road that lies ahead suggests that no one has ever reached the end of their journey to provide guidance for others. This highlights the individual nature of our experiences and the fact that we must figure out our own paths. It emphasizes the idea that each person's journey is unique and just because someone has gone before us does not mean they can guide us through our own journey. The uncertainty about the road that lies ahead can evoke feelings of fear and anxiety. It can be daunting to face the unknown, not knowing what challenges or opportunities await us. However, it also carries a sense of excitement and possibility. The unknown holds potential for new experiences and growth, and the road ahead could lead to unexpected and fulfilling destinations. The poem serves as a reminder that while the future is uncertain, it is also full of potential. It encourages us to embrace the unknown, to navigate through the bends and twists of our journey with optimism and curiosity. It reminds us that although we may not have a clear roadmap for the future, we have the agency to shape our own paths and create our own destinies. In conclusion, This Road We All Know, but, by Jimmy James, captures the uncertainty and potential of the unknown future. It emphasizes the individual nature of our journeys and the importance of navigating through the twists and turns with an open mind and a sense of possibility. It serves as a poignant reflection on the unpredictable nature of life's journey and the resilience and adaptability required to navigate through it. New York I will fuck with buttons until I can no longer fuck with these buttons that you awfully adore. I can't hear anything. Oh, that's because I turned it down. <laughs> Don't make any sense! Fuck it, don't make sense! Alright, so. Luke. I am your father. I'm trying to get the old mic that I bought that doesn't work to work, and uh, it seems like it almost worked. But I can tell you now, it's definitely a wiring problem. This is. See, you can't hear that. Alright. Shut your fucking mouth, you fucking...
crazy person. Alright, alright, here we go. Big reveal. Oh, where's my other long, long wire? Oh, boy. Alright, yeah. So this wire does nothing then. Maybe it's this wire that has to go. Little wire. Hello! Hey. Uh, I love the case. Oh wait. Internal closing. In the closing arguments today, the horse had many. Ah, oh, come on, man. I fucking hate doing this. All for a fucking show. And I don't get respected. You have now tuned in to a place that doesn't have a microphone. I have it. I'm just trying to fix this one. I had it working for like a split, split second, Clarice. What's this do again? This one goes into my earbud. Oh, that way I can hear it. I would have known if it was working, dummy. That None of them work. Like, they work, but I know it's not getting picked. That was stupid. Internal opening, she says, for the 50th thousand time. Do you guys hear this shit? I love internal closings. Internal openings. Internal closing. Hey, 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 hey. Fuck, fuck, fucking shit. It's all that right. Oh, I thought I had that working. I literally thought I had the mic working by smacking it. I was fucking smacking it. That's how fucking nuts I became. It's either you're gonna work or you're not gonna work. It's like make up your fucking mind. Internal and this, internal and that, internal, internal. Can you guys hear this? No, you can't. You fucking can't hear it. Ah! And Bobby said to the bunny. Hey. I'm gonna unplug ya. No noise. Mic in. Let there be. How? How can this not work? It was brand fucking new! My coffee fucking thing's leaking. The fuck, man? All this for this bullshit. Fucking Mike making all that fucking sound. Unplug all this shit. Can I use any of this? To plug my old mic the fuck in, I guess. Shit, I went up with. And for what? And for what? Seriously. What's the fucking point of making any of this shit? Fucking cunt, motherfucker. Ah, oh, fucking people. Really? Just drive me fucking nuts. It's like, so now I gotta do this. I'm like, oh, I had to do a fucking music thing. <sighs> that sounded like shit. <sighs> oh, I guess I can't play that here. Or is that not allowed? Or am I retardedly retarded? Anyway. 
I'm going back to the old school, so chill the fuck out. I'll be right the fuck there. I got Dolby on running too, so that's like every five minutes is like 30 minutes. But all that screaming and sh Screaming's gonna get you nowhere. Aww. You see the difference in the voice making? I got nothing. Nothing. I got nothing up my bang of tricks. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you just tuned in to the basement ramblings of a crazy right back. person. <sighs> Seven. And why I'll get my shit together and rip cords out. The fucking walls are collapsing on me. Most doctors would say he had a psychological breakdown in the middle of whatever he was doing. <laughs> Let's start over. Hello, my name is G Greg. G I, I, I do it funnier when I don't have a fucking mic on. And I know it. I wanted to slam this mic down. I was like, yeah. I was doing it. The mic. Shit, when I talk to you on this mic, it sounds like you're in a fucking hurricane. Well, Jim, uh, my final thoughts on that were, oh God, there's a car, oh, Today, tragically, we lost uh, a news reporter named, what was his name, Frank? Frank, my God, what was his name? He's his best fucking boy I've ever been like. Alright. Hey, 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 Later today, we'll have the special sit-down of the century. Tune in. Be right back after this craziness. Oh, shit, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. friends, friends that are family, and family that are friends. This is Eddie with the TBD Network, also the TBD Podcast Network. The TBD Network is a thinker's podcast covering subjects and ideas that can advance the mental fortitude and critical thinking in an effort to further humanity through casual conversation. But right now, you are listening to The Jimmy James Show, A to Z. Have a good one. Right. We're starting our races up! Hello, my name is Jimmy James, and I want to maintain a functional and fluidity in my upcoming paragraph. So please, whatever you do, don't laugh. I'm just a human like you, so no need to overthink it or think about something to maintain from going insane, weathering my pain into yours. This is the way I like to write when I speak upon myself, the way I understand the world around me and why things are the way they are. So before I really start, this is a short campaign and before my report, I truly believe and still uphold that this society, basically the world, its fuel, biohazards, basically the whole nine yards, what I'm talking about is planet Earth and its resources going to the O slash zone layer. I believe humans are to blame and what else in this world is like our species. It's kind of a leap, a hop and a skip away from any other known animal on this thing we call planet Earth. 
Why does it feel like sometimes in the world away from everybody else even though we live on the same rotating rock floating around space traveling at 16 miles per second, spinning at a rate of about a thousand miles per hour, flying around the solar system of our home galaxy, beautifully named the Milky Way come traveling outside of that range is a galaxy in a vast open space, and this is where I'm going to take you, I'm going to take you to a place that I put a lot of work in and I don't know if I'm ever going to honestly be absolutely 100% complete in, I just know I wanted to speak up and this is my only source of letting the human race understand that this will be philosophical talk about the future of everything. I hope you enjoy the rest. This is Jimmy James writing his first short to medium book I guess you would call almost a novel come but to me it is basically a rap lit just the longest one I ever did there is no rhyming reasoning behind it other than the questions we ask ourselves almost every day. And if you have never asked the question before. After listening to this I will hope that you at least one day reminisce about this to one of your loved one's friends or even to yourself about how far could one species push themselves on the limitations of themselves and the resources. For the rest stay tuned that will come up next. This is March 27, 2024 I am not done the whole book yet but as soon as I am I will be getting everybody's ears wet with some information that they might have never foreseen. And I have three scenes for this starting with life, death, and the universe. Sit back and enjoy this one I promise you is going to be a ride or not prepared for. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children and giraffes of all ages, I'm gonna see if this works, and if it does, great, if not... Did I just awaken? Okay, there's no fixing it. So for this. At the time, oh man. Well, let's. Okay, I'm trying to like time this right, but let me put my mic back on so I can hear. Fucking over a minute just to hear something I don't remember right. And the fuck is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Here we go. Based on similar events that were pretty fictional, but based on similar events that were pretty fictional, but also kinda made up at the time and then, well let's get on with it. This is called, One Day. One day I woke up, and, and as I was coming out of my slumber, I wondered, did I just awaken to someone else's dream? Someone else's dream world. Woke up and I realized I was living in somebody else's dream or something evil. Maybe a evil entity, maybe a deity has some sort. You may ask yourself why. Why when I think this, maybe my brain is just broken there's no fixing it. So for this to work properly I wanted to switch it up like a dealer showing you his hands, as the next one walks up. I wanted to start from scratch, I didn't want to be pissed no more. I wanted to be hitting 21 on the door, but I promise you, with all you don't have to look far to go through my rap lips to understand what I'm playing I'm losing my mind slowly and that is true. That's why what I say to you guys don't come out as good as it used to. Fuck shit, motherfuck shit balls, but I just say that out loud. Yep I guess I'm getting dumb or proud, I mean a dumber crowd, as I laugh into the mic haha. -ha. You know me and you want to be a part of everything that's in philosophy but the only difference is that you will never even match up to be on my level so I won't give you this one opportunity to start what you're doing and put down the shovel because you will never be good as what I am stewing. Just wait until you get it on a taste test and I'm brewing it in your face, mess. Yeah that's right I just said all that about nobody, whatever. Okay, all right, yeah, let's give it up for something I did, I don't remember. Seriously, I don't remember writing that. <sighs> Fuck.
Alright, so I ran across this new app. It's called something Zeries. I, I don't fucking know. Uh, I tried to save it as day one, day two. I've saved it. And then when I go to, oh, save audios? Oh, let me go. Oh, it actually did save them. No shit. One day I woke up. And then as I was coming up. Okay, so that's the same one. What, what's this one? Save to what? Excuse me, excuse me, aha, uh -huh. https colon slash slash www.facebook.com slash kaufdaddy. Nebexted equals ZBWKWL. Okay, okay, I get it, you're like what was all that about? Well I'll explain to you in the simplest terms possible. That was a good friend of mine, his name is Richard Kaufman. One day, possibly soon maybe me and him will be on a show together just to prove to you that I actually know him. That was supposed to be a joke, I hope you got a laugh out of that. I know my cat did. Wait a minute, I don't have a cat. <laughs> well anyway, wait haha, who are these black figures dressed in cleaning sitting in my living room anyway? Thanks for the show, I'll figure it out later. What have you funny though? If somebody came here to rob me lol what may be interested to come if you're interested I'll give you my sweet address phone number credit cards whatever you need. You can come here and by time you leave you'll be absolutely fucking terrified just like me every day I deal with these two older people but they scared the shit out of me because who knows what they're going to knock down or break even having me I think was a mistake. True. So maybe I just let too much out. Well boys and girls relax this is not a long laptop or anything like that this is me saying this is a surprise show and you're about to go bananas because I'm doing anger management versus the basement ramblings of a crazy person part one or installment one I don't know I don't really know much about this stuff but I do have an update and I did tell you when I found it out I would let you know so hold your seatbelts hold your drinks hold your noses before you sniff in that coke please because it's about to get wackier than that duck that swam through a bunch of money remember him that cartoon that we watched back in the day younger generations probably going to be like what the hell is a cartoon anyway <laughs> here we go on the account of three two one go all one <laughs> yeah i guess i was supposed to finish that but never did um so that was about six minutes of my life i'll never get back and you won't get it back either is this coming out through there and there testing to Hello, 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 you sweet, sweet child of mine. One second. All right, so this is what this uh, text-to-speech is supposed to do. What if I hold it? G zero 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 one zero zero three. That's not it. That's not it. Uh. Oh, sexy. <coughs> Oh yeah, this one like has like sigh, like a sigh or a cough, like before she starts like this. Now we got that part down, right? So then we could just 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 add that in there. So then we're here. Hi, my name is Amanda. Excuse me. <coughs> <laughs> uh yeah i would need like a long time to fuck with that because there's like h inhales and stuff and some of these don't cheese zero 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 one zero zero six shut the fuck up dude 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 nobody is cute to speak <coughs> oh you hear that so where was I? I was a young little girl playing with myself. Didn't try to speak. So I was a young. Then I realized, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, we just want to. Making fuck.
And then you can have shit like. this shit. Christ and why are you <laughs> damn and <laughs> I can't do it I'm recording on oh my god the stupidest shit I get in and then yeah it's like it's like Oh, so now, like, this would be the whole thing so far. Hi, my name is Amanda. Excuse me. <clears throat> I was a young little girl playing with myself in the backyard. <clears throat> and then somebody was standing there making an awkward noise, trying to get my attention, saying funny noises. <sighs> but I wasn't paying attention. I just couldn't help myself. I was a bit too... Mm. Um, um, Jesus Christ, Amanda, why are you doing this outside where everybody can see? Now, you see, I had that. It was the same voice, but usually I can do that exact same thing, which is called sharing, which we're gonna do. Fuck, I can't do it while I'm recording. I can, but it would be pointless. All right, I'll be right back with the same thing. But it will be the full version now that you guys have an idea what kind of shit I'm working with. And uh, I'm pretty much not going to make the full version. I'm just going to make it just more realistic. Be right back. Alright, so I figured I'd let you guys hear some of my book I've been writing. But... No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> You're gonna hear something else. Huh? Let me just load it up. Where the fuck did I put it? That is the the the, uh, the main. What is this one? This world we all know, but oh shit! Did I lose it? Did I lose it? I lost it. I didn't lose it. I just have it. I don't have it copied. I have to copy and repast. Jesus, Mary. I have so many of these things. And this is a fair warning to anybody who listens to this episode. One, I'm giving you a heads up right now. Well, I mainly get on to the Spotify subject tonight. Oh, God. That's old. That's an old one. This road we all know, but just as it starts to bend, we do. Okay, okay, alright, that's the poem. The poem. It's like a little thingy I wrote. Alright, let's see if I can uh, find it on my text to speech. Oh, wow, this one is nothing important. Hello, my name is Jimmy James, and I want to maintain a functional and fluidity in my up coming paragraph so please whatever you do do not laugh i'm just human i'm just a human like you so no need to overthink it or think about something to maintain from going insane weathering my pain into yours weaving my pain maybe i was trying to say i don't know this <laughs> now I gotta scroll. Yes, you scroll and keep up to where he was at. 
uh, 7.41 uh, p.m. March 28th. I'm a loser. Um, that's not in there. I'm just saying that. Uh, this is the way I like to write when I speak upon myself. The way I understand the world. This is actually something really serious I was talking about. <sighs> it's actually only 2,500 characters. This is the opening. Maybe I'll choose. Thank you very much for downloading our app. Please stay with us. Thank you very much for app. Please. Thank you very much for downloading our. Alright, dude, I'll use you. Please stay Jesus with us. Jesus Christ, you fucking asshole. Alright, so I'm gonna put that on. Um. Excited. Yeah, it comes out. Hello, my name is Jimmy James, and I want to maintain a functional and fluidity in my upcoming. Alright, so. Yes, I, I have not downloaded this part, yes, and I do have a full version. It's not my book, it's... Oh, man, I actually worked on it with somebody. I'm not saying who, but I worked on it. It was basically me. I just got some ideas off the robot. I mean, off the Google guy. I call him... First, I was calling him um, Joey Bone, and then I was like... Your name is Atom. From now on, your name is Atom. You know, it's pretty cool that I'm actually recording and uploading at the same time. So I've never really done this before. Um, yeah, so I'm not making this long. I was supposed to do uh, the basement ramblings, but look, guys... For some reason, I don't know why, and I'm I'm only doing this to to really talk to the people out there who haven't heard my voice, my angelic voice. Yeah. There's a couple people out there. Know what I mean? You know what I mean, Eddie? 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 <laughs> Alright, so the reason why I do Etchy and I do that, it's actually a spin off shit version of the Batman. And just the way I something started it. But every time I do it, I start thinking of like. This Wayne, uh, no need to stand on ceremony here. <laughs> like the way fucking Tom. Let me turn this shit off over here. The way he um, did that was fucking outstanding. The way he played Bane. I know it's old. You guys probably be like, Can we talk about this before? No, no. You don't understand. To play a villain in any the DC universe, the MC universe, to play a villain, okay, is like, to play God. And I'll give you a perfect example. Example A. And I do ha I actually have it as an episode. Which I haven't put out yet. Um, it was supposed to be a future episode. I'm not really supposed to tell you about it. I'm not done it yet. Because it's... I mean, I got... I got a lot of editing to do, but I'm done the concept of it. But it starts, and I lost the uh, sound card, so that really fucking sucks. But you guys still would be able to hear it. I, I've recorded it, I mean, the parts that I need, and I gotta cut it out. But long story short, uh... <laughs> This is what I'm talking about. Uh, let me, I guess I'll go to Spotify. And I will find it for you. And you guys can hear it. So I'm going to Spotify for podcast. What's this? What is this here? Oh, it's, I can't hear it, can I? Oh, hold on. I gotta plug in this. Sorry. Sorry. 
I gotta make sure that went through. Wow. Yeah. So you guys can hear it really. If I mute this. Let's suck. All right, I had to stop that. She needs to shut the fuck up. All right. No, no. <laughs> I was just recording on Spotify. Oh, can I too do recordings? That would be cool if I could record on two different things. Oh, holy God. It is so cool. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. I I'm just not. I'm. What do you mean? What is it? Oh, voice, uh, voice is AI. All right, so let me find it. It's a uh, man of steel. Is that it? it Sucks. Surrender it. And I'll let you live. This is a second chance for all of Krypton. Not just the bloodlines you deem worthy. What have you done? We've had a child, son. A boy child. Krypton's first natural birth in centuries. Alright, I couldn't let you guys hear anymore. But obviously... Because I don't want to get cancelled. No, I'm just kidding. No, I don't want you guys to really think... About what I'm going to be doing in that episode. Matter of fact, I like talked about it with a few people, and I said, "What do you think about this?" Not, you know, it's not just like, "Oh, the movie." I did talk a little bit about with you, but I'm gonna basically. I guess I can tell you is I, well. Tell you actually a couple things. I didn't know I was going... This is actually episode... Well, I didn't do that much this season, but this is episode 11, technically. So after this, um, I have... I'm going to say, what, 12, 13... What was it, 14? So, all right. So I have 14 episodes in this season. That's how I'm doing my seasons. Now, I've been doing the season since the beginning of February. So, yeah, I'm pretty fucking wiped. Don't forget, I, I do fuck around with TikTok a lot. So, yeah, I have Man of Steel, but it's not really about Superman... It's not about that. It's it's so not. <laughs> it you guys can probably guess where I'm going with it, but that's the thing. It's it's actually supposed to tie into what I'm going to be talking about. Now, if you watched or heard the last little funny stupid cartoon that was like really long and I didn't make it that long. That was only like four and a half minutes. I didn't know it would slow down the speech rate for like another four and a half minutes. I was just basically saying, um, I'll be talking about religion. That's something I never do. And I'll be talking about politics, something I never do. And, uh, something else. But, uh, I guess she'll just have to wait and find out what I'm gonna be talking about. That fucking noise was bothering me. When I have the, uh, plug clicked in the plug the plug now honestly uh i'm doing a cut off time here it's 7 51 the time i even i'm not getting i'll be getting this out like hopefully by tonight because it's wednesday and i try to get out three times a week but like i said i've been super busy and I had some family friends move in, and my mother is in rehab at the moment. Everything's like whatever with that. You guys don't know that too. I don't really talk about my parents. Obviously, I have my pops on here, but there's a lot of other shit that's been going on in life, and you guys um should be able to understand that because you're fucking human. I think. But, um, right, before I forget, honestly, everybody on TikTok or Facebook, but 
I'm just saying TikTok in particular this time is because I had so many people hit me back, follow me, like my stuff, and just say hi and take time out. And when I like say so many, I mean more than I can count just or think of i i couldn't even give you a roundabout number but i'll try i'm gonna say ish 50 it could be in the plus side of that there was this one woman i won't say her name i i would if i had it i would say something or or tiktok account but um she hit me up and then she hit me with a nice message and so do another woman in facebook and it was off of quotes. So I don't know if you guys know, or you do now. You're about to find out. I'm about to end this segment. There is a app out there. It's called Quotes or Quote Quotes Creator. So basically, you just create a quote. It's your quote. I mean, it doesn't have to be. Like you can literally, you know. Say something like Churchill said, like, you know, I touch the children and I touch the boys and girls. No, actually, I I love a lot of his quotes, but I don't know. Like, the movie kind of portrayed him as somebody who didn't walk around just quoting things. (laughs) I don't know. I like quotes in particular because, especially when I make them up. Like, there was the one I made with the road. That was, like, my first one, and I wasn't, like... I I had to look up, like, how long... Like, how long is a quote? Like, what's a good length? Like, Carl Sagan said about being in the galaxy, you know. If we're alone, if we're not alone, it's equally terrifying, blah, blah, blah. You guys all know that quote. If you don't, look it up. And if you don't know who Carl Sagan is, go fucking jump off a building. But... Uh, with that being said, with that being said, uh, I am fucking tired, and I don't know why, I actually took extra medicine, and, uh, I want to talk to you guys about that, but I'm, I'm so tired, I just have to pack it in, but, um, I haven't even been on the crew that much, my little group of, uh, like 13 no we got 13 oh we got we finally got lisper so go check him out podcasters and that's the lisper d-a instead of lisper lisper for podcast and the lisper you can't miss him he's a fucking weird looking black guy and he's from philly and he's my homie (laughs) once you become a part of my, it's I would say my group, but it's not. I mean, I did, I yeah, I created it, but it's not my group. I seriously mean that. It's our group. We're all equals in that group, as we should be on the fucking planet. So like, when I make a joke like that, and he's a funny looking black guy. You know, people are like, oh, what do you mean by a funny looking black guy? If he was white, do you know any funny looking white fucking people? Fucking Chinese people. Do you know one of the trending hits on TikTok was this girl just dancing for six seconds? Because it was six seconds. You can tolerate it. Put it on for ten minutes. You're going to get through about eight to ten seconds before you're like, Alright, that's enough. I gotta swipe up. Gotta do all that work. I don't like it. I can reach the phone and swipe. Come follow me on the Jimmy James show. Oh, but I don't use Spotify. I gotta hit all the I got all the buttons. So many buttons. Oh, I don't even have an account. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to have Google save it for me. Oh my god, this is too much. How do I tell like that? Anyway, you guys are a bunch of fucking no fun motherfuckers. I will talk to you guys later. I want to get into a lot of shit about the tiresome, the the man of steel. I'm just going to call it the man of steel and what's coming up. 
on my next for real show. This is not bass basements of a crazy person. This is not the ramblings. Just a preview, so relax. It's a long fucking preview. But, uh... Now I'm gonna go to bed. Oh, yeah, one last... I try to keep these under 20, but... True story last night happened to me. I shit you not. I didn't take any medicine. I didn't take any of my Xanax. I mean, you guys know. I would tell you is, you know, I take Xanax to help me sleep. I don't take a bunch. I don't need a bunch. I just need something to slow my fucking head down. Um, I remember I was like... Oh, did you ever just talk to yourself? You know, me hearing the spirits is one thing, but I was like fucking around with myself and not in that way. I know. I'm trying to watch everything. And I like leaned my head back. I'm like, what if I just fell asleep like right now? And then that was it. And then I was like, I'm actually pretty comfortable. So I pretty think I I got Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> I'm, I think I got I I got some kind of disease. I got something wrong with me. I just can't figure it out. I can't figure it out, and it's not the alphabet disease. Because I'll be real with you, since if you stuck through this last this last bit. All right, so. And Adderall usually is 30 milligrams. I got the capsules, by the way, not the pills. So, right, 30 milligrams, okay? Now, I only usually take half. So I open the capsule up, and I pour half into the capsule, and then I take half. Okay. You're probably like, oh, I don't know, that's nothing. And especially for you fucking speed freaks, you're probably like, that's it. That's all. All you take. It's like I take six of them at once, and that's not enough. That's just to get me out of bed. No. So anyway, back to reality. Um, I took another half, like two hours into it. So I finished that capsule. The fuck off. There's thirty milligrams within two hours. That's a lot for me. And now, oh, this was last night. And now I was like. Two hours went by. I did another half. And then another half. But the other half wasn't until like fucking 8 o'clock at night. I was fucking out of it by 11. I could barely get from my chair to my bed. What is going on? If anybody knows what's up. Why I'm not doing anything physical. It could be mental. I don't know. Or I could just have like a bunch of fucking diseases. And I could be dying. I don't know. That'd be so fucking cool. Last podcast. I could be dying. I don't know. Was the last words he said. I'm on somebody else's podcast. On somebody else's uh, YouTube video. Jimmy James was a show, uh, he was whatever, I don't, we really didn't understand the fuck what he was saying, but his, I was trying to think of a word there, pause, anyway, listen guys, I'm done, holy fuck, 21 minutes, go fuck myself, alrighty, plus I've been trying to jerk off some, uh, I gotta go, like always, take care of yourselves and your neighbor's dogs. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jimmy James, and I'm just here to tell you guys. Well, that's the end of the show. You know, the goodbye part, the end, the end of everything. I just wanted to say goodbye from the bottom of my uh, dark heart. Oh, shit. That is what it takes i owe it all to you no matter where i end up 
if it's in like in some room and it's just a bunch of fat guys sitting around a table and we're talking about each other and we're like and we're just fat and disgusting and then then we decide like well we put cameras on ourselves and we do that and then no matter how much we try you could just see the sweat trickling down their fucking side of their faces because they're fat and out of fucking shape and all they do is talk in a microphone 99% of their lives and then when they're not on the microphone guess what they're talking about what they're going to be talking about yeah i want to be one of those guys Put me in an early grave because I worry about what you think. That's all I give a shit about is what you think. I only care about what you think of me. I just wanted to say goodbye.